This fall, Liberty Club Sports announced that Jessica Nelson would take the associate coach position for the Liberty Flames beach volleyball team. With her past volleyball knowledge and strong work ethic, Nelson believes she will be a great asset on the sidelines for this team. And joining me today is the new Liberty Beach Volleyball Associate Coach, Jess Nelson. Jess, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thanks for having me. So let's kind of get to know you a little bit. You're no stranger to the athletic world. You were a former NCAA athlete for the Liberty Flames, and now you've put that role aside and you are coaching the Liberty Beach Volleyball team. How was that transition? and How do you think that prepared you for where you are today? I'm not sure that it prepared me in the sense of strategy uh, because you know, indoor is such a different game from beach. So I've actually been learning a lot as I'm coaching. Um, but the elements of, you know, just like the discipline and work ethic that I grew up with um, in all the sports I played, plus especially here at Liberty, uh, had a huge impact on my desire to be involved um, in beach volleyball and just recognizing the importance of mentorship with college athletes um, and Beach has provided just such a unique opportunity to do that. So I'm really excited to be working with this group of girls. I know one thing the girls have talked about is you are a very genuine coach and you're always out there getting ready with them and um, helping them not also just to do better in the sand but also in their everyday lives with school and friendships and family. So kind of talk about um, your role off of the sand and how you're just trying to be a mentor for these young girls and in the spring the guys that will be involved as well. I love just the the opportunity that beach volleyball affords with um, doing off off the court activities like we went to hot Pilates one day and hopefully we'll go again go to the local hot yoga studio and do that again um, I think my role as the professional advisor for club sport athletes definitely plays a part in my ability to harass them about their academics and just make sure they're on track with different things um, when it comes to their schooling uh, so I really love doing that and um, Caleb and I were talking about the best parts of road trips and just travel and getting to know these kids on a personal level. Um, you won't get that just in practice every day. Of course, you get to know them better, but the focus is really on the skills during that time. So the off the court stuff is kind of the best part to me. So I'm really enjoying that. Mentioning your other coach, Caleb, as he is head of the men's volleyball team and the beach volleyball team last year, you got to learn under him and prepare for this new role this year. And what's it like working with him and just learning the sport as learning the sport a little bit better, but also being able to find your own methods of teaching and just uh, preparing these girls for their season matches? So Caleb's so great. He um, taught me a lot about how to just come up with things that are fast paced, that get a lot of touches versus um, more extended scrimmages. I think there's nothing that can really replace being able to get that game-like touch and experience with, like, in terms of scrimmaging. But Caleb's so great about creating drills that are productive and intense and, and fun. And I think he knows how to bring out the, the focus and the best, um, uh, like bringing out a really fostering a great environment for them to want to come to practice um, and it feel like it's a beneficial time spent for them. They're working on certain skills, but um, yeah, I think for me, I, I still feel like I'm learning in that aspect of like on the fly coming up with stuff that um, just tweaks within a drill that we've planned. So I've really enjoyed learning from Caleb and I'm so appreciative when he is at practice, um, especially this season. I know he's balancing a lot with the men's volleyball and the girls love having him there too. Um, we've had just just a blast so far this fall. So, Well, another fun factor about you is you were raised in the mission field. Your parents are missionaries and I know you were raised around the holistic Christian environment with your parents and I know you've tried to instill that here with the team and with the girls and um, what are some of the things you're teaching them that outside of volleyball they need to apply in their spiritual lives to kind of help them grow to be an all-around athlete here for Liberty University? Um, so one of the things I came in 
telling Caleb was like, oh, I want to get these girls. And well, it was more of a guys and girls team the year I started, but we want to take them on a mission trip. And he was super open to that. Um, and so that's in its stage of development and we're looking at go taking a trip overseas. And you know, that's great for them as young people to develop, hey, how do I present myself as a Christian overseas? What are the cultural factors of how um, I can influence and what's happening within me? During that experience, the raising support, getting the plan together, um, and relaying that information back to the people that are supporting you. So I'm so excited for that to come to fruition and we're still pretty early on in that stage, but I think that's the biggest um, thing that comes to mind when you ask that is what are they, what are we doing to equip them beyond college? So opening up this as an opportunity potentially after they're done playing club volleyball here is really important. So um, I'm really excited about that. Well, Jess, we're so glad to have you a part of the club sport family, but also as a part of the club sport family, as a coach and a mentor for these girls on and off the field. And we can't wait to see what you do for this team and the impact that lasts beyond the years and seasons of beach volleyball. Thanks, Hayden. Appreciate that.